Chef Jeffers here, I'm delighted to be back on the mall and the sun is shining. We're going to do this really, really great crispy pork belly salad with radish, fennel and apple. It's a lovely salad with it and we're going to do like an Asian dressing with it. So today we're going to be giving away a few boxes uh, as we do when we're on the mall. Uh, I'll be giving random boxes out to people uh, and that's a, a gift from us as far as say. So keep cooking. So we're going to start off with the perfect pork belly. How did they get to this stage? Bit of a process to get this stage to be honest with you, but it's worth every minute of it. So the first thing we do, you, you buy yourself some pork belly, okay? We marinate that with a bit of sea salt overnight in your fridge, and the next day with your cloth, rub all the salt off. After that, it's pretty much getting into a pot of stock, chicken stock I use. I put onion in there, I put celery, and I put carrot, and I poach that for about three hours. So three hours poaching, gets it really tender. And then after that, I drain it, I put it on a tray, and I press it between two, uh, basically, I use roasting trays, press it really tight, and chill it overnight. And the next day, then you have pressed pork belly. And then you can cut it into lovely portions like this, like that. So what I've got there is basically our pork belly, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get that started in the pan, I'm going to put a wee bit of sea salt over the top to make it nice and crispy. Get it started in the pan and then straight into our oven and we're going to put it in that oven until it really crisps. And that can take anything from 15 to 20 minutes. Take your time doing it nice and slow and steady. What you want to end up with is that fat at the top really, really crispy. So I'm going to put it in the oven now. Can you forget about it? And the next thing we're going to do is our dressings and our pickles for our salad. So the first thing we're going to do is make, it, make up a pickle. Um, and what we have is rice vinegar here, Asian rice vinegar. I'm going to put three tablespoons of rice vinegar in here. Like so. One, two, three. And when you're cooking this, you'll smell it right away. People would ask the question, can you use anything different than rice vinegar? No, to me, no is the answer. It has to be rice vinegar. Uh, any other vinegar is too sharp. You might get away with white balsamic vinegar, but it's hard to find. And then that was water I put in there too, just straightforward water, and then a good spoonful of soft brown sugar. And then what we have there is some coriander seeds. So we're going to get this bad boy here. We're going to put about a half a teaspoon of coriander seeds into here. And we're going to break that down. Lightly crush it. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to put our coriander seeds into there. And I have that on a kind of a medium heat. It smells really, really great. And then I'm going to put a wee pinch of salt in there. Cook that for about three minutes until it's dissolved. And while we're doing that, we're going to start getting our salad together, our slaw. So for our slaw, we have fennel, radish, Hardhead cabbage, or Savoy cabbage. We have um, some lovely red chilies, and then I've got some other bits and pieces in the fridge here, which I'll get out for you. So we'll start off with the um, cabbage first. You can use a really sharp knife for this, or a little mandolin if you have one of those. I'll start off with a knife just, um, and then we'll just really, really, really thin pieces. If you're doing this, make sure your knife's razor sharp. So. So. In goes your cabbage. So. But what's going to happen here eventually is this lovely pickle is going to go over this, top of this. So it's not a mayonnaise type slaw, if that makes sense. It's more of what we call an Asian slaw. Got this lovely fennel, so you're going to give your, your anise flavours there. And then we're going to chop what we call the fawns off, the wee bits at the top. Which is lovely in your salad, by the way. Like so. And then, what we're going to do is put that into there. Again, you can use a mandolin. I want to show you how this is. You can use this. And you can basically put that through like that. And you get these shredded pieces like that. So really fine. It's a good way of chopping it if, you, if you're not good with a knife to be honest with you. 
but the length of time I'm cooking I should be good with a knife by now. Do you like that should? <laughs> you can go to guess if you want. It's a lot quicker, isn't it? The good thing about that is really consistent. So then goes your your radish. So you can see we're building a slaw here. A few more. Tidy up your bench. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our radishes. These are really good put through this. So basically, I'm going to take that wee end off. That wee end off. And then. So, I'm just kind of quickly through like that. Keep your hand flat every time you use that, or you'll end up with no hand. So we also have coriander going into this. We have cress, and we've got some lovely apple. So as you see, it's a lovely summery salad. The chili part is up to you. If you like it really spicy, use a whole chili, seeds and all. If you don't like it so spicy, half of the chili. Okay. And then we're going to get some cress. Shave some cress under there, like that. And then we're going to get some coriander. And then an apple. So, salad's starting to build really well. Coriander's nice, a few stalks are nice, but not, not as much as that, okay? And then we're gonna get this lovely Granny Smith apple we're using just, so like. Three like so. And again. I would always do this when I'm working with apple. You've probably done this yourself if you made any apple tarts at home or that. Got some lemon juice here. Basically this apple will turn very quickly, so a bit of lemon juice over the apple. Stops from turning brown. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just chop this apple up, kind of like that. The wee strips after it's been shredded. And that's gonna go in this salad again. So as I say, look, we're building that lovely slaw up. Not your typical slaw as you would get in your, your local shop. Um, which I have to say, some of them are dreadful. If I'm being honest with you, that's your beautiful slaw made. So, that's our pickle for our slaw, which will flavour that. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that to the side and we're going to let the pickle cool and then that's going to go into the slaw. So listen, we're going to put our dressing now on, which is cooled, on our salad, so our pickle is on there. And then we'll get a couple of spoons. Feel free to use your hands at home if you want, of course. So beautiful salad. Salad's going to go into the fridge now. And I'm going to let all that pickle develop in that salad. This is very different to what you would be normally used to as a slaw. I would call this a kind of an Asian slaw. Right, into the fridge. Now we're going to actually make the dressing for the pork. So, we have three tablespoons of soft brown sugar in this one. One, two, three. And then we have um, one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar again. So there we go, one. So as you can see the ratio there is two to one. Two sugar to one rice vinegar. We have a tablespoon of honey in here too. All this stuff, as you know, goes brilliant with pork. So, all that goes. And then we have light soy sauce. Lovely light soy sauce. 
Uh, give it a bit of a mix. And then after that, we're going to put in the star anise, which is your aniseed, which is going to that's going to marry up then with your fennel. And then we have some lovely mixed peppercorns in this one. So I've got um, just using a lovely wee jar mixed peppercorns from Sainsbury's below here, and you have a good good mixture of peppercorns in there with green. We've got red, black, all sorts of peppercorns in there. Okay, the more you put in that, the spicier it's going to be. And then I'm going to give it a bit of a bash. Break it down lightly. Not over break it down. Because those pink peppercorns are lovely if you get a mouthful of those. Going to turn the heat up here to about number seven. That's medium high for you at home. And Kind of just going to reduce this down until you get a lovely thick kind of sauce consistency. We've got our lovely salad out of the fridge. It's been marinating for a wee while. And what we're going to do is going to get our salad on our plate. So, lovely delicate salad. So, That's a pork out of the oven now. It's lovely and crispy. I'll let it settle for a minute. This, our dressing's near ready. We'll put a wee bit of dressing over top of the pork. And then... Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> It's a lovely starter, and then what we'll do is we'll just hit the plate with a and there's your crispy pork belly salad with your Asian flavors.